Hello YouTube base headers. Welcome back to the channel. I am excited to talk about sodium ion batteries. New to the market, really just hit the market. A lot of uh, car audio uh, battery companies just started carrying them uh, in the last few months. And they are the newest technology. And I, I got to be honest, I think this technology is going to be the um, probably the future for a little while. I think they're going to come down in price drastically uh, over time, assuming inflation doesn't <laughs> kill us in the meantime. Uh, so if you're thinking about switching batteries, but you can wait a little longer, then we can always wait and see kind of where sodium ion batteries go. There's just factories are just tooling up to build these, so as more and more factories start making sodium ion batteries, they're going to come down in prices. Here's here's just a couple places that sell. These are fully built batteries. Uh, I know a lot of my guys online probably are interested in the cells, and I kind of want to talk about what's so great about them. Uh, what are the concerns about them, and um, maybe some issues, potential issues. So I want to specifically talk about this cell for a little bit, and this is not, I'm not targeting uh, this company. I, I personally think that uh, they sell a lot of great products, and um, I was seriously considering buying these cells. Uh, I, I kind of looked them over for a little while, thought about them, did a little research, and then I found kind of some concerns, but I mean, this is 18 amp hours. Now they are rated 5C. Um, I've been following some threads online where people have actually been doing 12C. So tw uh, 12 amps for every amp hour rated uh, continuous with no problems. And so they're thinking maybe, maybe like a 12C 20, uh, 20, um, 20 amp burst might be a little more accurate. Um, and I think they are selling pretty quick. They are going to be out of stock probably soon. They're going to have to order some more. And anyways, let's, let's actually talk about these. I think they're beautiful, by the way. I, I really like the wrap on them, that orange. That's cool. Uh, first of all, I would like to talk about the size of these. So these are about a pound each, I think, if I remember correctly. They're a little bit bigger than lithium per, per, um, pound they don't have as much amp hour as like headway so they're not a super super energy dense battery i think that's going to change in time as uh the sodium ion is still fairly new to the market and um they are are making great strides there in fact there some car companies uh, are looking at sodium ion for their cars now i'll tell you one of the coolest things about this super safe these are very safe batteries. They don't catch fire. Um, they don't have the problems that some lithium batteries do. I mean, I've seen a lot of people burn down their vehicles from lithium because they're they're just they're running lithium that maybe is a little finicky or they're they're not entirely educated on, on how to set up some lithium. Uh, these are super safe. I know Headway's pretty safe too. I, I personally like Headway, even though it, yeah, it does have some, you know, it's not the greatest on voltage. Um, but I was running Headway in my car. Um, I'm not running it right now. I'm in the process of looking at another battery. I might just build another Headway bank. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about what happened in a future video. I've got a lot of, a lot of updates I still have to do on my personal vehicle. Anyways, let's get right to it. Super safe. 18 amp hour, that's not bad for these at all, especially if, if you could do a 12C pull. I know they're rated 5C, but they're, they're just so new. This company is, is having people doing testing on them. A lot of people are doing testing on them and actually finding that 5C is super conservative. Um, so these things can really do quite a bit more than that. So don't get hung up on that. All right, let's take a look. Um, operating voltage. This is the coolest thing about this. So this is per cell. Now, if you're going to have four in series, you multiply this times four. So you come up with six volt range to 16 volt range. That's your range. That's your, 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 your operating range. These are not like, like headway. You have a bank of four, uh, in series that they will rest about 13.3, 13.4. That's where they're normally at. If, if you leave the vehicle off long enough, 
the they may be at 14 volts they'll slowly over time slowly come down and they'll settle right about 13.3 13.4 these don't do that so it, you can run if you had a, a bank of four you could run anywhere from 6 volt to 16 volt so if you're charging at 16 volt and the battery you've been playing hard and the battery comes up to 15 or 15.2 and you shut the car off guess what you start the car tomorrow it's gonna be 15.2 so these have a super wide range, which is awesome for people that are on a, a stock alternator or anybody that's got a variable voltage on their alternator. These are super flexible. This is the probably my favorite aspect of these batteries. And maybe, maybe I can zoom in a little more. There we go. My favorite aspect. And what's also super cool about this is you can run this with another lithium bank that rests between that 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 voltage well you, you wouldn't want to charge above uh, 16 volts so pretty much a lithium bank that um you can charge up to 16 volts so i could run this with my headway if you know what you're doing now i'm gonna probably have to do a video about talking about mixing um different battery chemistries most of the time it's a big no-no there are sometimes you can actually do it and in this case you, you you can do this as long as you pay attention to some rules which i will have to talk about in the future once again, we talked about this 5C. It does appear to be pretty conservatively rated. And uh, so this is probably significantly higher. I'm still waiting for a lot more testing and reading a lot more on these to kind of figure out where this is going to end up. But it's, it's looking right right around maybe around 12, maybe maybe a, a touch higher. We'll, we'll wait and find out. But it's around, it's around, you know, 10 to 15 probably. Um, here you got an operating, it has a huge operating temperature. Now these also kind of claim, let me see where they have their temperature listed on these other batteries. Let me see if I can find it. Probably just scrolled right past it, didn't I? So look at that, 14 Fahrenheit to 140. Huge operating range, right? Notice that it's, it's nominal operating temperature range. This one too. Look at that, 14 to 140. Maybe it uses the same cells, who knows? So that is super cool, but this is discharging temperature. Look at the charging temperature. 30 Celsius. Now let's look up 30 Celsius to Fahrenheit. That's 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, I did call the company to verify, hey, is this really the charging temperature? And they said, go look at the user manual. This is the user manual directly from China. So let's go ahead and take a look in this. Charging parameter. Uh, let's go down to seven, page seven. All right, charging parameter. It actually says, uh, I don't see it yet. Uh, absolute charging temperature. No matter what charge mode, the battery's in stop charging once the cell temperature exceeds absolute charging temperature range, 35 degrees Celsius. So 35 is 95 degrees Fahrenheit. 95 do not charge these according to their user manual do not charge these once they're over 95 now i have uh looked up some some solar batteries and they had similar low charging temperatures as well uh, a little over 100 degrees um and i will say two things about this okay one i'm not sure if other companies uh they're listing the the temperature range here and they might be listing the nominal operating temperature range and they might literally be listing the discharge temperature i don't know okay i know that they're working they're doing a lot of work on sodium batteries so they are raising that floor that that changing temperature uh and it could also be it could just be a simple uh screw up in the paperwork so these batteries might actually be fine charging charging higher 
but I, I don't know. I, I, I'm a little concerned about that across sodium ion batteries right now because um, that problem does kind of exist. They do have a lower charging temperature range. They have a great discharge temperature. I mean, you can run these when it's freezing and when it's super hot in your car with no problems. Now, I live in a very hot area, a very hot and dry desert area in the southwest, and it gets hot. My vehicle is 120 degrees for most, for like, you know, four or five months out of the year uh, or hotter. So I do not want to uh, risk it personally. Uh, that's your 20C capacity retention, some of this other stuff. Decent cycle life, 3,000 cycles. That's decent. That's not bad. An excellent internal resistance. And let's see. There's one other thing I would like to point out as a concern, okay? The operating voltage. So typically when batteries do their amp hour rating, what they'll do is they'll charge it up to nominal, to resting voltage, and they'll charge it down to what they consider like zero, like 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 dead. Uh, headway, headway goes down to, it's like, I think it's around 10 or 10 and a half. So they'd start the battery at 13.4 uh, volts, fully charged, and they would just slowly pull the amps off it, suck the amps down until it hits uh, that, that dead, that dead voltage, which is still like 10, 11 volts, something like that, 10, 10 and a half. Um, and then they, they figure out how many amp hours it has. Now this one, if you were gonna run this at 16 volts and you're gonna run all the way down to six volts to get the 18 amp hours, uh, how, how usable is that for car audio? And that's such a wide range of voltage that when you crank the car up and you start banging hard, you might drop from you know 15 volts down to 11 pretty quick. So I, uh, that's also a concern. The wide range of voltage is my favorite thing about these, but it also means you need more batteries to maintain a higher um, operating or a higher resting voltage or higher operational voltage. Anyways, um, I, 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 uh, I have to think that maybe this is just a, a typo. Uh, I was so excited about these cells and they're a good price when you consider looking at you know some other places and there's nothing against these companies they they build a fully built battery pack and and some people you know are fine with paying a little bit more well, i should say a lot more money to get a fully built battery pack because i have had a few sparks and explosions building <laughs> building building batteries they could be they could be pretty dangerous um anyways i still want these batteries i'm just waiting to hear to, to wait and see kind of how this does and what's great is i can i can still run this with a headway bank or something else I'll, once again the video will come in anyways that's it for now guys that's the good the bad and the ugly of the sodium ion batteries hitting the market i think in the future i think you're going to see technology catch up these things are going to be fantastic uh buys considered traditional lithium as the time comes anyways for now Love you guys and base on. Cheers.